another episode of Oldie But A Goodie. We're here playing Oblivion again. Uh, part two here. We actually just got out of the tutorial. Um, you can see the sewer right there. We haven't done any more since you last saw it. So we're just gonna jump right in and keep going. Um, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna stick to the main quest as much as we can. So, John, you're gonna be on your way to Kavach. And uh, if you I look like at your... I yeah, My you, map? Yeah, the map at the bottom there, that red marker is uh, exactly how to get there. And um, so you think maybe you wanna? There's go a couple ways. Way. There's a couple ways you can get there. You can just you can just leg it, go on foot. Damn. Or uh, there's you can fast travel to the nearest Hang location. Time. There might not be a lot of locations for you since you just started, but um, looks like you're just you're just Oof. legging it. You're legging it. I All mean, right. we'll just journey. Why not? We'll I do already it. found some place. All right, yeah. Go ahead and go around. You can pretty much just straight shot there as the crow flies to the red marker if you want. I mean, oh, you shit. can you can get through whatever you want. You're crouching right now, by the way. Oh, you're Wait, I'm already at this him. place. I'm no, right no, here. that's not Kvetch. <laughs> Kvetch is a town. Uh, oh. it's, a, it's a city that's kind of under attack right now. Oh. Um, actually, take that do, back. Do I even want to do this? Mm, no, that's just like different dungeon. If you, I mean, if you want to go in there, that guy's probably gonna attack you. Um, I take that back. I'm not sure you're actually going to Kvetch quite yet. You're going to meet Joffrey, uh, who is. The guy who Known is supposed to know, <laughs> yeah, no, he's supposed to know um, where the other heir is. Hey, for this the guy looks like me. So yeah, so scratch that. Actually, you're not going to Kavach just yet. I think that's the quest after this one. Let's go ahead and just take take these mofos out. Show them who's boss. You know. Yeah, he's running. <laughs> Come here, kid. Come here. Oh shit. Oh, he came back. Oh, does that, do they really run away when they're getting weak and everything? Ah, uh, sometimes. This guy's shooting you up. I always remember you can hold on L to block if you like. Oh, yeah. Sorry, you just fucking slashed <laughs> him to pieces, man. <laughs> uh, um, that fur is just yeah. if you have the light armor. Well, I'm a light armor kind of guy. It's kind of, it's almost like some obscure form of cannibalism. I mean, you're wearing fur and you're a lion. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, I mean, you're not really eating, but... I thought, oh, yeah, I guess I am a lion. So yeah, All just right. take take what you need and then start heading towards that red marker, which you are going the opposite way. Just looking around. <laughs> All right. What, this red marker? Yeah, see in the bottom. You just want to. You can just straight shot there. Um, it's really no terrain you can't cover unless there's a giant oh, mountain. Oh really? I I was going. Yeah, you're going the other wrong way. direction. It's all right though. It's nice to explore a little bit, get a little battle experience in. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I take back. Like I said, not going to Kavach just yet. Right now, you're going to meet Joffrey, who is supposed to know where the other heir of the emperor is. Now that the emperor's dead, the the Empire. Why? Why the, was I in there in the first place then? In where? Like in that whole like why was the Emperor there with me in the in the dungeons? Like because he saw you in his dreams and oh. he just like trusted you. So everyone's kind of going with it. So he, just some weird ass. But the, dude. those assassins were after him or something. Yeah, they killed him. They took him down. That's a cult that you will soon learn about. The Dark Brotherhood. No, not Dark Brotherhood. Although that is what happens in Skyrim. It's not what happens here. Oh, look at the pretty. So you'll notice that the terrain is much, much different in this game. Dang Not oh. really like, oh, oh you're... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you heal yourself up. Or You have plenty of potions, yeah. I'm pretty sure. You can use, yeah, you can use whatever you heal want. Heal minor really. wounds. I hate that. This thing is really annoying. It's all right. You'll, you you'll get used to it. It's one of those things. You just um, The Skyrim way is easier because you get to put more things in your favorite bar. And literally, I'm pretty sure there's no limit. But I also like it's a bit quicker with the hotkey in this game, so I mean, they're both pretty good. Cool. And you'll notice, like I said, the terrain's a lot different in this game. Yeah. There's not really any snowy so areas or anything. Quick. Looks so shitty. <laughs> so they're still in their route, though. No. Looks like you got a mud crab coming up on you. Nah, don't believe you. Oh. <laughs> Take him out. One now, kid. One now. He's just got some alchemy stuff if you want to take Crab it. Crab meat. You found Imperial City Sewers, north exit. Okay. Alright, that's just gonna take you back where you yeah. got out of. So you're gonna start encountering a lot of different, um... Creatures. Creatures things. and as well as different, um, uh, places around the map. Landmarks and whatnot. Right, you're coming up on a cave over here. We Using might be exploring a little stamina. bit of those in, uh, next couple episodes. Right now we'll try to stick to the main quest a little bit. But I mean, with games like this, and especially, especially Oblivion and Skyrim, um, I mean, there's it's pretty hard to just follow yeah. the main quest. You end up getting sidetracked, which is fine. 
Looks like he got another. another so these guys are just all inclined to attack me. They're just like bandits, I guess. Yeah. One of them's got a dog over there. Oh shit. I'll just do the. Oh, <laughs> I feel bad now. Well, I mean, he's coming at what? you. Oh, <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Damn, man, he's done with that thing. <laughs> yeah. I can block. I can and you block can me. actually uh, hotkey your potions oh. if you want to, and you just automatically drink them. So in like midst the battle here, you can just quickly do that. Might be a good idea after you're done slaying this poon. Getting slayed. Ooh. Um, yeah, I highly suggest doing that. Iron Axe. Makes the game a little bit easier. Okay, let's do that then. How do I get out of this? Left trigger twice. And then just go down until you see oh, the, yeah, uh, the get, potions. Oh yeah, this thing's already on there, but... Yeah, so now it's gonna... So you used blunt... Or I'm sorry, you, did you pick blunt or blade? I don't remember. Uh, you picked hand-to-hand, -hand, and I think... You, I want to say blunt. I think I did blunt. Um, yeah, so go ahead and drink some of those up. And if you want a hockey, oh, you hockey. can. Hold down Y and then click one of the buttons there. I believe it's... Whichever one you really want to do. An easy one is best, but whatever. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Um, so if you press left trigger, you can go ahead and check out... Sorry, go back in the minute, left the left trigger, and then you go to the right a couple times. Dude. Right there. So these are the ones blunt. that you picked here. So you did pick blunt. So a sword is blade, so you're probably going to want to stop using those. Um, just for the moment, the time being here, so you can Cause upgrade. Because I, I can't even Yeah, your, your blade will upgrade. See, oh. it'll it'll upgrade, but you won't level up as a oh. whole. So, Or you can just go hand-to-hand, -hand, get rid of everything, which is also something you picked. What do you what do you mean go with oh just okay you don't have I to see. wear you don't have any so kind of so this is like fully upgraded the athletics um it's about to get thirty one that's oh. what that means and then oh, light, okay. light armor is about to get the thirty eight blunt is at twenty six so that's just saying how far you get to the next level so, so just, swords are not blunt so um you can still use them how do I put it just melee straight um melee. you have to unequip that so what you can do in the hotkeys I think press up on the D pad whatever you set it as yeah. you can just unequip it by clicking up on the D pad again oh okay and so now you have the sword out but now there you go now okay. you just got your fists which hand to hand is really really fun once you upgrade it you can get um like special moves that like disarm opponents or like oh, really? paralyze them and stuff yeah it gets pretty fun and it I mean it helps a lot with your weight in your inventory oh, hey, you're pretty fun. lucky because you didn't even heal yet <laughs> from last time oh shit <laughs> Yeah, I'm not watching any there of you that. Go. It's okay. Well, you did just do your potions, so you can try and hotkey those, and you'll see how that works. You just do that a couple times. You can just click it real quick if you want, or whatever's easiest for you. And you'll get used to all these kind of systems and mechanics of the game. So, as long as you just keep punching your way through as well. <laughs> I think you can still do, uh, like, power moves if you hold down R. Scared them off. And, R? yeah, oh, if yeah. you hold that down, you can still do moves like that if you like. Um, About, and yeah. You can actually block in this game with hand-to-hand. Um, in the other yeah. game, you can't block with just your hands because left trigger does the left hand, but in this game, it's only the right trigger, so. Cool. Is this one of those? This is. No. They don't have those. This is something totally different. Sure's under. Do you want to? Is it good, too? I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll tell you this. It's. Okay, that's a no. Okay. <laughs> well, you can come back to it if you see it, but they're. Yeah, they're interesting. Let's just say that. I don't want to tell you. Because might come back. There's a couple of them over the map. Uh, I don't know how many there are. There might actually be a lot. Um, oh, wow. Athletics increased. Yep. Feel better already. Yeah, Stronger. you're running and you're jumping is ac as actually acrobatics, but you're running and swimming is athletics, and it uh, it helps with your stamina. I think it makes you a bit faster. Actually, that speed makes you faster, but athletics helps with your stamina, so you regenerate it quicker. I just yeah, you can just You can just jump right in if you want. Mm. Just got to watch your breath meter thingy yeah. at the top. But for the most part, nice. yeah, you're good. Those places like the main kingdom or just well, where wherever this guy is? You are right now. Where you started when you got out of the sewers, you were right next to the main city, which is Imperial City. Oh, yeah. And then you just kind of left that now. And there's, I think there's seven or eight to cities total over the map, including Imperial City. I want to say eight. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Uh, I just, I have, I'm not looking right now. But, yeah, they're, and they're all over the map. I mean, they're just, they're everywhere. They're pretty spaced out, actually. Kind of uh, similar to Skyrim. So, I mean, there's no carriages in this game. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure there aren't any carriages. So you can't really fast travel. Right. Um, in that sense. But all of the cities in this game, you can automatically fast travel to right now. Really? Um, uh, yes, you can. Just another one. But you're kind of going to... That's actually something different. You can do that if you want. Ah, that restores, right. I think, stamina or something like that. It'll just restore 
Oh, or it cool. gives you a buff, actually. So you can look at those if you press B and go to your spell one, which is two over. And then go to the very last one, which is... So, actually, you just got a little fortify, fortify. magic. Oh, so... Kind of, just like a, a buff, a temporary one. So I can, like... Yeah, it gives you more magic for a little bit. Oh, cool. There's there's a, there's some of those over the map, too. Maybe, I don't know, five or six. I'm not sure how many. But you'll find them periodically. And they, they don't have any map markers, so oh. you can't, like, waypoint them or anything. Yeah. yeah. Which is interesting, I guess. But, um, like I was saying before, you can fast travel to all the cities uh, right off the bat. Um, it is very useful at times, but right now you're going to a separate kind of like encampment, I guess. I don't know, but so I'm not sure you can fast travel. But either way, we'll just we'll journey, we'll leg it. Yeah, I mean, graphics look pretty good. Yeah, they're not bad. Definitely yeah. not. Still playable. Yeah, third person is really weird, but yeah, it was more just kind more of for scenic. show in this game, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Oh man. Uh oh. Combat <laughs> uh -oh. music. Just gotta look around you here. There aren't any map markers uh, or like little blips like there are in Skyrim. You just kind of oh sh oh I thought that that scared the shit out of me. I was like, what the fuck? You just book it, get away yeah. from this guy. It's probably just a wolf or something, but hell, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's creeping up on you. So I'm actually not even sure how far you are right now, but this could be a long journey. Maybe a short one. And all yeah, these. If, kind of, I, if all I wasn't these... playing with you, I'd feel like I'm like shouldn't be going this way. No, you just you're <laughs> going the right way. You can look on the map if you like and kind of get a feel for where you're going, how far it's going to be. That last one and go all the way to the left. You had it there. You go all the way to the left there. Actually, sorry, one more. So actually, you're very very close. Oh, okay. um, if you look there, coral. So I guess actually, coral, choral. I'm gonna go with coral. Uh, it actually, is a city. So I was wrong. I mean, it's a little bit outside the city. Okay. So I was right and wrong. But um, you, I think you could. You were able to fast travel there. Uh oh. But it doesn't matter. Walking in this game is actually useful because it gets your athletics up. It gets your uh, acrobatics up. It levels up any other skills. Like when you're fighting those guys, that would have never happened if you fast traveled. Right. So, I mean, it is actually... Yeah. It is really good to just At kind of... when you're starting, I guess. Yeah, especially when you're starting to get all those, um, those skills leveled up. So, might see more of that. I mean, if it's a really long distance, do whatever you want. Yeah. It's actually very useful. You meet and and you'll find other map markers around the map on your kind of journey, I guess. So that way you can have more places to fast travel to later, and that way you can get pretty much anywhere around the map after you kind of visit all of the spots in between. So you're coming up. You're coming up yeah. right on. Here you go. Look at that acrobatics. So you're gonna find that um, they're actually under attack right now. By that same kind of cult. Oh. As soon as you get over there, deliver the. Okay, now I must take the amulets to Joffrey. Joffrey. And so just keep following over to the the red map marker there. You'll find them soon enough. Guessing I have to go in here. Yep. Asking rumors. <laughs> Great treasures. Whoa, yeah. kid. Can I help you? He's upstairs. Oh, you know what? Go I'm ahead. totally wrong. You, they're not under attack yet. That happens when you come back. You'll see, though. It's not much oh, of a spoiler. In the spoiler story. alert! No, it's, it's it's. I'm not going to tell you why they're under attack or what's happening, but I'm I was John. trying to prepare you for something that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Thinking too far ahead here. But that's all right. Emperor Uriel, do you know something about his death? You better explain yourself now. <laughs> you brought me the amulet of kings. This cannot be. This cannot be. So he's going to direct see. you towards um, where this the next the heir is. And that's where Kavach comes in because he's a priest in that town. What and then you, you go to that town and, and you find that something as very as important is happening. Okay. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the amulet of kings. Um, either Ooh. one of those. I mean, I'm pretty sure it says the same thing. The Empress... The Prince of Destruction. Yeah, and if you guys Mayron's definitely want to read these, you can the pause it. But, the but we'll try and leave them up for a little bit. Of oblivion by Mac. I'm not sure. Only the, the amulet of kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it. So we want I have this amulet. You have the amulet of kings, which is something that only the emperor the wears. Emperor and no new and so you're trying to find the, his son, his illegitimate down. son, sort of. So wait, this, this, oh, this is the guy that knows where his son is. Yes, this is just like yeah. like a monk or a priest or something that knows where 
I the next the, the next heir to be the emperor is right here. Many years ago I served as captain of you. One night Uriel called me into his private chamber. Uh oh. A baby boy lay sleeping in the <laughs> Dang, I got Uriel told it. Me it was to a hot and steamy night. <laughs> he never told me anything else about the baby. So I basically what he's saying here is that the, uh, the assassins of that cult time time killed his other sons. I think he had four. But he had one illegitimate son, he just said. He has one that um, the public didn't know about. Oh. And so since he is blood related, you're going to try and find him and have him Why is he illegitimate? Empire. What does that mean? Uh, that like, make? like an affair. Oh, I see. Or the, yeah, like people didn't, people didn't know about him. He is in terrible danger. And please... Let me know if there's anything you need. Okay. I mean, he'll, if, if you want to click assistance, he'll give you some shit, but... Wait, what, what is all this saying? This is, you can just ask him about those things if you want. You don't have to. Oh. It's pretty much just reiterating. And you'll find all about all of it. But if oh. you want to go up, Waste you can go no up time. and uh, click assistance or not. You don't have to. He'll open up a chest for you that has some stuff in it. I mean, it's... Your first priority. Uh, you go ahead, click it, and then he'll get up, and he unlocks it. You can pick up some stuff, but if you're going hand-to-hand, -hand, then, I mean, you don't really need too much. Yeah. It's true. So, oh wait, I actually got... So you can grab that, grab the bow if you want to do some marksman. If not, whatever, then. Oh. And definitely grab the steel axe since you also have blunt. Yeah. As many things, grab that one. The and axe not, not the claymore? I'm, no, I wouldn't grab it just because you're, you're trying to stick to blunt Should here. Should I go with this iron stuff, you uh, think? That's heavy armor. I personally wouldn't because you're going to try and stick to like a stealthier, like yeah. lighter approach. But I mean, you can really do whatever you want in this game. Shot. There's a way to make it work. And... You can grab the leather armor if you want. I don't remember if you're fully... Yeah. Oh, you have fur armor, right? Yeah. Then uh, stick with that if you want. I think that's good. All right, now you just follow the marker. You can look on the map and see how far of a a walk this one will be. Oops. Let's see. Am I going? I have no idea. Go ahead and yeah. uh, go over to the right. Go over to the right one. No, on uh -huh. the... Uh, yeah, press A, and I'll show you where it is on the map. So uh, it's up by Kavach, and you can actually fast travel there if you want. Or, um... Well, how far away is that? Go up to the right. A. Yeah, you press A on there. And so you move your, uh, your cursor. Set marker? No. Just move it over. Where's your cursor? There you go. Move it down. You can fast travel there. Right up a little bit. Up, 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 up. On that. See that? Right there. Just okay, but Just where, where am I? Do it doesn't know? matter. If you're fast traveling, who cares? Yeah. You're not very close. Okay. You're, yeah. yeah, you're just looking in the wrong spots here. Uh, okay. So you just click A on there, you can travel. Yeah. You have to walk a little bit anyway. Yeah. So wait, this this is the second Oblivion, right? Or the um second game? Fourth. Fourth? It's the fourth game. Skyrim's the fifth game. Okay. Um Elder Scrolls. Well, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Um I think the first one was Arena, and then the second one was Damn. I don't know what the second one was. I knew there were more. Third one was Morrowind, which was on Xbox oh, original. Yeah. And then fourth one, believe me, I'm sure. I don't remember what the second one is. It's like Come Redgar or something. Run, I don't know. Maybe that's a DLC. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Hertel. Nah, do I really have to deal with this bullshit? Nah, he's just... God's blood. He's telling you that God. there's some shit going down up there. Some Sorry, major kid. shit going I'll down up there. I'll show you some shit. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, just go ahead and follow this road. That's what I'd be running from right there. <laughs> <laughs> you just follow this road up there, and then you'll get up to the city of Kavach, where you'll see there's some major shit going down. As evident by this guy, just absolutely mind fucked. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, shit. He's fucking high. Yeah, his mind he's right like, now. He's don't seeing shit go up there. there, dude. Oh. So beautiful. Now, what is that planet, Nick? Tell me about that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know everything. Whoa, okay. Why am I going? Am I on LSD or like what the priest was on? Nah, you'll see. You'll see what's happening. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> am I on what the priest is on? <laughs> I knew there were dragons in this game. There's no dragons in this game. <laughs> There's Oblivion Gates, which is what you're about to come up on. Kind of saw it in the intro a little bit. Um, yeah, let's, let's just end here. 20 minutes. Yeah. So all right, on. guys, we're gonna... Wait, wait, wait. All right, we'll just do it. Anyways, yeah, go ahead and up, talk to that guy. He's all right. He's not gonna attack you. He's just one of the guards. Go ahead and talk should to him. I, should oh. I talk to him? Yes, but he's gonna him? be attacking these scamp dudes. Oh, you yeah. just got... You just ran yeah, right into that one. 
Sandy hooked. <laughs> Stand back, civilian. So he's like the uh, the leader of the guards at this moment in time. What happened here? So you can skip past this a little bit, and I can explain what happened. Um, what he's telling you now is the city of Kavach has been overrun by this oblivion gate that opened up, and now there's a bunch of like demon spawns coming out. There are some survivors in the church, and the reason you're here is because you're looking for that heir, and he's supposed to live in this town. So now you have to go try and save him. And um, that's what he's kind of talking about here. And you have to offer up your help. So you go and click help at the top. You want to help? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. And he's going to have you actually go into the Oblivion Gate. So go ahead and click, yeah, I'll do whatever I can. Okay, and then I get it. The story starts to unfold pretty much at this point. So now do I... They just press B. Um... And you gotta go into that Oblivion Gate, which turn to your left there, sitting right up over there. This probably is a pretty good place to stop. Yeah. And um, before you go up in there, because that's gonna be an entire episode of its own. So, anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching the video and this second episode of our Oblivion series for Oldie But a Goodie. Uh, make sure you like the video and comment below what other games you want to see us play for the Oldie But a Goodie series. Uh, any of your old favorite games, old Xbox games. Um, pretty much anything, just let us know. And uh, subscribe if you want to see some more videos, and we'll have another one out pretty soon.